Hello, welcome back to the Narrow Man. Welcome to today's live stream. Um, yes, it's video recorded. Something new I'm doing. Um, in today's video, all this week, I hope it was Lego. Um, yeah, I think it was Lego all this week. So, yeah, I hope it worked how I expected it to work. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but th today's Friday, every Friday I do a live stream, and for today's live stream, I will be doing a Star Wars Lego review set. Now, usually I do, you know, basic Lego Star Wars review sets. Nothing too big, nothing too little, but today is a big one that most, not a lot of people have, and I know a lot of people don't have this, because they don't show it. Or maybe they do have it and they don't show. Who knows? Um, but you're about to know what Lego set this is. This is a big Lego set. It's one really you can't carry. Now, you might be thinking about the Tatooine. Um, no, that's... No. I wish, though. No, it's not that set. It's a better set than the Tatooine set. And the set that it is, it is the miniature A-Wing from... The Lego Advent Calendar. Yeah, it's the miniature A-Wing. Took me about... Um, it just fell apart. Hold on. Took me about... Um, at least three months to do it. The little miniature A-Wing. I did look up a bunch of YouTube videos on it. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Everything. It shows a lot of detail. I mean, did you think I had the big A-Wing? Nah. Nah, the miniature, that's it. No, I'm joking. Really, I got the big A-Wing set. And yeah, it took me about three months to do it. it it's ages 18 and up. It doesn't show it on here, but it does show it on the box, which I might show at the end. But yeah, the giant A-Wing. Um, I'm going to try and raise it. It's, it's heavy. I got to say, it is heavy. Here it is, the giant A-Wing. It's it's bigger than my cup. It's longer than my... Here's my cup. It might seem big on the camera, because that's how it is on the camera. But then here's the A-Wing. It's taller than my cup. It's huge. Oh, here, 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 here. I got a good example. Here is the miniature one that you get from the 2020 Advent calendar, the Star Wars Advent calendar. And then here's the big one. Compare sizes. Yeah, it's huge. Um, I got another example. Here is a little lightsaber bit. Let me make sure. Yep, yeah. little lightsaber bit. Here's the wing. Yeah, it is huge. So yeah, we're gonna leave this off to the end. Just because it's big and heavy and very fragile. And right now. We're going to do the stand. It comes with a little stand, which I love because it doesn't stand on its own. I, I'm going to do that later. I'm not going to put it on now. It's kind of, yeah. So the stand, very beautiful stand, just goes in. It doesn't click. It just slides in, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah. So it does come with the person that flies it. And it comes with some information about it. So, right now, I will show you the person who flies it. It does not say who she is or he. I forgot, which I, I forgot. Hold on. Um, I will be right back, actually, to go get the box. So, yeah. All right, I'm back now. And I guess it does not say the name of the person that drives the A-Wing. I guess it's just an ordinary pilot. But here is the box. The box is like taking up, like you can't even see me. I gotta, eh, you can't see me. But this is the box. Let me turn this off. Hey, oh, you can't even see it all. Um, let me turn this on. Nope, you can't still see it, okay. Well, here's the box, it has a glare. So yeah, and it says right here, 18 ages in order, so yeah. Um, I also did take some breaks because I've been busy uploading those videos and doing other stuff to help out my channel. So, yeah. Been very busy. And then here is the 
A-wing on the back. So yeah, um, let's put that right there. It takes up a whole back of a chair, the back of a chair. Um, but anyway, so yeah, like I said, here is the fighter pilot, looking cool. Has just a little tiny gun. Here is the back side, does have two faces. And the back printing, pretty awesome, I'm glad they added it. And the front printing looks awesome too. Not that much detail, but I do like the green and the gray kind of mix. Green, white, and gray. It's a cool mix. The helmet doesn't really go with it. I don't... This is the helmet that it belongs to, but the helmet doesn't really go with it because there's no blue in the suit. That's one thing I'm kind of concerned about. Um, and then the gray, the on the side it's gray, but I don't know. I s still think it should be like a green and gray, just like the pattern we're going with. But yeah, that's the character. It's okay. Mm, eh, not so great. And then the facts. Um... So I did this with the baby Gorgu that I had. It had facts. It's just like this one, except it's littler. This is this is a big set of mine. This is bigger than the Razor Crest. This set is bigger than the Razor Crest. Very, but believe it or not. Mm. Okay, so here is all the detail and everything. All the facts. I'll show it. Um, I just showed it, but I'll show it again later, so I'll just read it. Manufacturer, Quat System Engineering, length 9.60 meters, hyperdrive NCON GBK785 hyperdrive unit, shielding Surplex Z9 deflector shield projector, and weapons Bro Steel R RG9 laser cannons, Dimec H and, and Dimec HM6 concussion missile launcher. So yeah, there is the facts right there. And the missile launchers, I did look at this really closely. So here is the gunning. Um, so the Borstal RG9 laser cannons are right here. It's this one on the top. And the missile, the concussion missile launcher is on the bottom. Yeah. Took me a long time to figure that out. The hyperdrive unit, I have no idea what that is. Um, but you got the engines in the back. Boom, boom. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. I wasn't prepared for this, but... Yeah, it's an A-Wing. Um... The detail, let's get to the detail, so. These can flap, the wings on the bottom can flap a little, the wings on the top can flap a little. Um, but they have to stay down. So you can take this off. You can, I don't know, you can leave it on and take it off, depending, or you can like, put it like this, like the driver's getting inside. Put it. I don't know how good you can see it. But there's different ways you can put it. If you're doing it for display, I mean, of course you're doing it for display. It's the only thing. You can't really play with it. It's not really playable. Because once it drops on the ground, it's like sadness. Because it takes weeks to build this. Okay, so right now you're looking at the cockpit. Right here, you can move the driver's seat. You can kind of see behind the engine, which actually flips with the guns. So, if I show right now, the guns right here, yeah, they flip. So, they can go all the way around like this and shoot backwards. Boom, like that. Um, and then you can see it move in here, too. That's kind of like the engine area. You pull the seat back. Then you got like kind of like a joystick right here where it moves. And then a control panel, which can go up so you can see it. So yeah, pretty cool details. I do like it a lot. Then you got some detail right here. Um, got some detail right here. It's not really big for the fingers. Um, you can take this off. This, this right here, you can take it off. And just kind of look at the inside of it. 
if this is gonna work. Yeah, but you can see the inside of it. Kind of cool. Kind of yeah, empty. So um, I'll put her on later. Actually, yeah, I gotta put on the stand. So um, oh wait, it goes all the way in. Right there. There we go. Okay. Um, what else to check out? I'm not messing with this. I was gonna pull this away so you can kind of see the inside more, but that was these parts right here, one and two, were probably the hardest parts ever. I hated those parts the most. Um, I did hate this too because it doesn't really, it's unstable. It doesn't really fit in. That's a minor thing because it, it doesn't really fit in. It kind of jiggles. So it's like a one thing. But if we see in the back right here, if I mount this kind of, um, I can not take this off. Okay. Um, when I was building this, I do got to say, I thought this piece right here was going to be the driver's seat right here. And then I was like, oh, wait, it's not because it's too big. And what are we going to use this for? A window? So, yeah. This doesn't really go in either that good. It has to go in a certain way. Actually, hold on. I don't know. It could be like a whole tutorial. Anyways, um, just to test some things out. I'll put that on later too. Um, so yeah, back on the stand that you go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um there we go. Okay, now it's time to put it on the stand. You guys are on the stand. Let's put this on the stand. Carefully. So, it's kind of hard to put on the stand. So you don't break it. You can see the uh, wing already fell off. Um, how am I going to do this? So how I do it usually is I flip this upside down, which is a big risk taker. Kind of like this, I flip it upside down. So it's upside down now. And there's a, don't worry about the guns. There's a hole right here and it just slides in. It's just a easy mechanism of sliding in. So then I flip this. Um, you gotta angle it a certain way because it goes in a certain way. Not that it doesn't slide in a certain way, but you don't want it to make it look funny. And then you just kind of, okay, oh, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, um, there we go. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's nothing too important. Um, spin it around. <laughs> Okay, and then how does this go on? It goes on... This was a big challenge of bringing it in from my room. Um, just so you know, I worked this whole thing, not on this desk, on a bed. So, I think anyone can build it because I built this on a bed for a little challenge for me. So, yeah, I say you can build it on anything except for um, the ocean. And sand. That's the only two things. But I'm talking furniture-wise, so a couch maybe depends on losing the pieces. Um, I'll wipe some dust off. There's already dust on it. Like, how? I don't get it. How is there already dust on it? Hold up this. There we go. How's there already dust on it? I. Okay, I. I. I I don't know what to say about it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it today's live stream. Sorry for the short live stream. I know, like, it's only one minute. This felt like four minutes. Okay. Um, well, something else I can show, I guess, is, um, this right here. I made a little stand. Because, like I said, this A-Wing, this 2020 A-Wing, was falling so... Um, how do I explain it? So basically, how LEGO does the advent calendars that they do, is they do it by what's coming out. So this came out in February 2021. 
this big A-Wing. But this little A-Wing came out in December 2020. Or November. November 2020, yeah. November 21st, 2020. No, 2020. Um, so what, what LEGO Advent Calendars give you, like, LEGO gives you a surprise when you get their Advent Calendars. Basically what it gives you, oh, it has been 11 minutes, sorry. It gives you, um, like, surprises. Like, it gives you stuff for the future. Like, I did not know that there was going to be this big A-Wing until I saw this out. Um, like, the Tatooine set that came out. I don't know if the, yeah, it came out this year. Um, that set that came out, it was the little place. There was a little place. There's always secrets to the uh, Lego Advent Calendar sets. So, like, Lego City, they even do it for Lego City. I'm surprised as you are. Um, I got this little mini train. This little mini train from the Advent Calendar. And guess what? They came out with a big train. And guess where that train is going to be in? A video soon. Yeah. Um, that train is going to be in a video soon. So... Um, what else? What else was in an advent calendar? Um, yeah, I totally forgot. Um, what else was new? Uh, oh, the X-Wing. There was a X-Wing that came out in January 2021. Luke Skywalker's X-Wing that came out. Um... And there was an X-Wing in the uh, Advent Calendar. Now, I'm not saying everything in LEGO Christmas Advent Calendars are going to be coming out. There's some just, you know, to show and to be there. But there's mostly going to be some. Like, I got this mini LEGO TIE Fighter from the Advent Calendar. And then January, January came out with a lot of stuff. January, they came out with a LEGO 2021, or er, LEGO 2021 TIE Fighter, not Advent Calendar. I can't wait to see the LEGO 2021 Advent Calendar. I would like to see what's coming out soon. And it will be different because hopefully, hopefully I will be posting every day of what came out. Hopefully, I'm hoping I'm not going to be too busy during the winter time, but I am always busy during the winter time. So hopefully that will be a change. Um, anyways, why are we talking about... Oh, why are we talking about uh, Christmas time already when it's only, like, June? We're not even in July yet. Actually, are we? No, no, no. We're not in July yet. We're still in June. Okay. Anyways, stop talking about Christmas. Um, hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you all later very, very soon. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for... Sing ah, thank you so much for coming to the live stream. And seeing this epic A-Wing Lego Star Wars review set. Um, oh, I forgot to show you the book. Oh, yeah, the book. Um, so, most trains... Um, no, most trains. Get the trains out of my head. Okay. Trains are gone. Most Lego sets that are big like this, they come with multiple... Um, multiple books. Lego books of the instruction books. They come with multiple of those. Um, so for this one, it actually came with one big book. This this can actually that wasn't good. Okay, that was better. Yeah, it came with one big book, and this book is let's start from all the way to the back or no, all the way last instructions. Actually, no pieces pieces wise. That's where we start. This book is 285 pages long. Now, if you, that includes... Every, actually, no, 286 pages long. Um, but that includes all the pieces and how many pieces are in it. Now, for the instructions, it comes really with 283 pages long. That's still a lot for this. Um, this Lego set did come with, I'm gonna kind of show it like that, it came with, um, oh, 
1,673 pieces. I am pretty sure that's more than the Razor Crest. I'm gonna have to look into that. But yeah, that is a lot. Let me, let me say that again. 1,673 pieces. And this is an Ultimate Collector Series. Nice! I've been always trying to get the Ultimate Collector Series, and here's one right now. I do wonder when are they gonna be making a um a X Wing of this. An X Wing of this will be awesome. And I'm pretty sure I'm ninety-eight percent sure that they're gonna be coming out with more um starships like this. Like maybe an X Wing would be good, a TIE Fighter, and an Interceptor Fighter, um Kylo Ren's fighter. The Millennium Falcon? I Actually, no, that's already made. There's a huge Millennium Falcon. It's already made. Um, what else famous ships are there? Um, um, oh, the, oh, the droids. The droids. We There has never been... Actually, there has been, but that's back in the day. Probably the 2000s. That's not that far. But... Um, yeah, there has never been, huh, a set. We haven't had a set recently of the uh, droid starships. I can't think of the name right now, but we haven't had those kind of sets yet. And I know it's the Clone Wars, and that's like back in the 2000s, but still, we should at least come back with them. I mean, there's newer starships, and actually, no, there's not. All I'm asking for is some droid ships. Sorry, we had some difficult issues. Right now, I just gotta hold the camera. It just keeps on falling. So yeah, now I'm holding the camera. Um, so anyways, I think this set was pretty cool. I did love and I did love and I enjoyed building it. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I will definitely take care of this. I will definitely dust it every week. Um, we can. And then a good tool, if you're trying to find a good tool to dust off your dust from your Lego sets, is a paintbrush. I have a big one. It works perfectly, gets rid of all the dust, and I love it. So, yeah. It's perfect. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.